Hello it's your favorite extra. Today's video was requested by Deputy Rook. Thank you so much for your support. As mentioned this is a part 3 to the Depressed Itza series, the other parts will be linked in the description along with my Discord. The song used is the Lazy Song by Bruno Mars and will be in the description as well. Enjoy the video. This was it, Itza finally got his day off. He still woke up at 6 am before the sun rose, but knowing that he had two full days to himself gave him ease. He wasn't sure what to do with his time. He never had much time for self-pursued interests. Maybe he'd start off with a run. This time it was strictly for leisure and not training. He even decided to pull out headphones that were hardly ever used and put on some music. What played was a song that was quite familiar to him, he remembered how he used to listen to it with his brother and laugh along with the lyrics. This time he decided to sing along as he set off for a run in the cool morning breeze. Today I don't feel like doing anything I just wanna lay in my bed Don't feel like picking up my phone So leave a message at the tone Cause today I swear I'm not doing anything uh, I'm gonna kick my feet up then stare at the fan Turn the TV on, throw my hand in my pants Nobody's gonna tell me So they can teach me how to duggy Cause in my castle I'm the freaking man Meanwhile back at the dorms Half the class got up later than usual Because they didn't have Itza to spam the chat telling them to wake up Momo, who usually makes breakfast Forgot that Itza wasn't there to assist her with minor things Such as getting out the pans or setting the table Denki, Mina, and Siro completely forgot about the homework because Itza didn't text them his usual spiel about getting proper rest and finishing homework. Back with Itza. He decided to go to a nearby cafe to get some breakfast, still having the song stuck in his head he hummed the tune while singing under his breath. Oh yes I said it, I said it, I said it cause I can Today I don't feel like doing anything Itza decided to spend the day exploring the surrounding city and doing a bit of shopping to decorate his dorm. He has decided to spice things up a bit. If his surroundings are more lively then he was sure he would be too. Taking a look at class 1A. The usual chaos has already ensued by now, they were all wound up from a day of lessons and training. Kakakan. Get out of my way damn nerd. Look at the Pomeranian barking too loud again. You wanna go icy hot? Yeah, let's go to the grounds. No don't fight. IIDA help. Realization setting in. Right. Continuing on with Itz's shopping trip. Tomorrow I'll wake up, do some P90X, meet a really nice girl, have some really nice sex. And she's gonna scream out, this is great. Oh my god, this is great. Yeah. Itza giggled at the words he muttered knowing full well they were inappropriate. What the others didn't know wouldn't kill them. I might mess around and get my college degree. I bet my old man will be so proud of me. But sorry, Pops, you'll just have to wait. <laughs> oh, yes, I said it. I said it. I said it cause I can. Today I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to. Let's go back to Bakugo and Todoroki's fight. That's enough boys. Who are you calling a boy? Hey asshole don't talk to Momo like that. What the fuck are you going to do? 
Jiro proceeded to use her earphone jacks as a whip while Bakugo defended himself with explosions. Shinso pulled out popcorn. Do you want to share Denki? Sure. Mina, Hagakure, and Siro shouting fight 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 like the disasters they are. My money is on Bakugo. No way. All Jiro has to do is put one of those things in his ear and it's over. With Aitsa. Aitsa has successfully found some decor to match his tastes and was taking his time traveling back to the dorms. All the while he kept a spring in his step by singing the song. No, I ain't gonna comb my hair. Aitsa just got onto the grounds when he heard chanting, explosions, and screaming that must belong to Bakugo. He ran as fast as he could to get to the source of the commotion. Deku managed to spot him running towards them Aitsa? Aitsa. Thank goodness you're here Kukin and Todoroki were supposed to fight but. Momo saw Deku and interjected. And then he said something to me and that made Jiro mad so now she's fighting Bakugo. Stop. His voice was firm and just as he was about to rush in a wry smile spread across his face. He ran and got Aizawa and placed him right in the middle of the fight. You have been summoned to deal with your students fighting. Not my problem, you're the class. Aitsa interrupted, knowing he forgot about giving him the two days off. Actually, I'm not the class rep today. You gave me the day off remember? So have fun. Ah oh, fuck. Okay I guess I have to do my job. Aitsa left knowing that the rest of the day was free of responsibility. He decorated and cleaned his room, then went about his day freely. <laughs>